Our next speaker is again Professor Mukhtar Al-Hashimi. Please, Professor Mukhtar. He will talk to us about an investigation of the utilization of energy and water conservation technologies in Bahrain. Sayyid Diya Ahmed. Thank you. Uh, basically, the, our next uh, talk presentation is completely different than the previous one. We are, uh, uh, this study is an empirical study, is investigating the utilizations of energy, water conservation technology in Bahrain. The objective of this study is basically is trying to create an entrepreneurial opportunity, trying to create business by understanding what are the people, their awareness of the electrical and water conservation te uh, technology, at the same time, their willingness to buy a certain product, and as a result of that, we create a market visibility and we create a, a business opportunity. <clears throat> As we are aware that energy is on the rise, everybody is using it, it's very highly. Majority of everyone in different parts of the world, they are using it uh, increasingly due to the technological and advances and habit of the society. Such things has made a cha cha uh, major challenges for many countries. So energy is a big issue. And as a result of that, also the decline in the oil prices, especially in 2014, has resulted in a short of revenues. The such short of revenues in oil, revenue, in oil revenues has pressurized the decision makers in different part of in this region, in the Gulf, to reduce the subsidiary of their funding for electricity. As a result, they passed the increase of the cost of electricity to the public and the consumer. As you are aware, there are different brackets of electricity rate. There is consumer rate and there is industrial rate. In the past one year, the electricity uh, rate has increased, reflecting on both consumers and low, uh, industrial. In the next three years, it's going to increase by multiple factors. We looked at the what is the opportunity of we can create in, in trying to understand the acceptance of the public okay, of electrics, electricity and water conservative energy. By definition, energy is basically is the process of reducing the consumptions of ener energy through lesser amount of services or pay. At the end of the day, people will pay less for more power they are getting. The benefits of energy conservation is lowering the cost, reducing the energy services, increasing the environment quality, and high saving for the public and the consumers. At the same time, it's also increase in the environmental protections. The big questions we have in this empirical study is which one of these devices, whether they are electricity devices, or water devices, conservative technological devices, which one of these devices that the public in Bahrain is willing to buy, and at what quantity they are willing to buy. So once you understand which devices is being accepted by the public and the quantity, you are able to produce a model of a business. And then once again, the objective of the study is trying to understand what is the current awareness and utilization of electricity and water conservative energy, and trying also to understand what is the willingness and the market availability for such a new devices that the public is willing to buy. Once upon a dot, you have studied it, you are able to produce a, a, a business model which is appropriate within the need of the country. Doing on that, there will be a lot of significance for this study. One of the major significant is trying to understand the public awareness. The second is trying to also to underline what is the potential for such devices and creating jobs. 
These such jobs could be done at the small level of business, creating opportunity for the young people, and at the bigger, larger corporations. The roadmap of the research is very simple. It's trying to review the literatures, which we have done. We've gone through a very thorough literature review to understand the theoretical framework. Is developing a questionnaire to measure the acceptance and the awareness of such devices, and also trying to understand the magnitude of the acceptance and the market. Once that is being done, we will be able to do a market proposal study as an entrepreneur business plan. And once the business plan is being done, we will understand what is the best model to deliver it. Such literature is very intensive, which we have developed, reviewed it, and as a result, contributed to our study. Upon the literature review, we were able to do the theoretical framework by understanding the household for, for, for the limiting the study on a Bahrainis, and also looking at the, what are the recent technological devices for water and electricity, trying to understand the demographics of the people who are accepting, what, the, what type of property they own, flat, villa, houses, and trying to understand their awareness of the government initiative. Upon that, we know the gap, and we need to understand also the need for the new devices and willingness to purchase. Such a study has looked into the populations of looking at the target population, about 151 households in, bah in Bahrain, that's the Bahraini, coming from the census data. We looked at the sample size of 384, and a questionnaire was developed. Using the, the, uh, the data analysis by having the Krampa Alpha and also descriptive and hypothesis testing, and we done some interview. My colleague, Sayed Bia, will present for you the finding. Please. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Mukhtar, on giving the opportunity to present uh, in this uh, conference. Actually, the ma major findings for the uh, demographic profile, we can find that the, uh, mostly who participated in this uh, research was uh, males, about 63%. Uh, 38% of the ages were uh, between 25 and uh, 34. Uh, in addition to that, uh, there are more professionally uh, occupied and uh, uh, they, ha they are holding some bachelor degrees, so they are uh, educated uh, segments or uh, from the research. Uh, most of the uh, respondents were uh, Bahrainis. Uh, according to the type of properties, it is an important factor to study so that uh, in your segments for uh, the business model or for the market, uh, you know which, which property is more consuming or more uh, demanding the, the devices. So 50% were from their own houses. Uh, uh, you can say that the Northern Directorate is around 58% of respondents. So this is the, the, the bigger or the biggest uh, uh, area for uh, which the research cover. Uh, the monthly bill uh, gave uh, another indication uh, and it's uh, categorizing the, the, the an amount of consumption, water and uh, electricity. So from that we come up with uh, that the consumption of water and electricity is uh, little higher than uh, uh, يعني, which is, uh, should be. Uh, as where the, uh, for example, the water is uh, we came up with an estimation of consumption of water to around 345 liters per day, while it should be around 200 liters per day in consumption. So it is highly consuming water in Bahrain. So it's come an important factor that these devices should be utilized or should be implemented in Bahrain market. Say you have two minutes. Two minutes, OK. For the monthly income, uh, most uh, major uh, were from between 500 to 1,000. 
the four major funding in the conservation and the, from the theoretical model, these uh, conservation programs and uh, government support, uh, the highly accepted that I think the conservation technologies will help me in reducing uh, uh, electricity and water. The government should formulate policy and, uh, and uh, frameworks. Uh, there are uh, available in my house, uh, such the, uh, which is already indicated, uh, uh, electricity and water. For the awareness about the uh, government program, they are, uh, you can say, is amid uh, acceptance of that, so it is in, in the mean uh, value, it's in the middle, so it is less uh, awareness if you compare it to the uh, other uh, acceptance level. Uh, the customers uh, prefer the local supplier with the quality and uh, cert to be certified, and uh, they are preferring to buy from the local rather than the overseas. Uh, because the local will uh, provide quality and warranty, and uh, after sale service, they are willing uh, to implement such uh, devices in their houses. The devices which are uh, presented in the questionnaire, uh, most, uh, the most, uh, the high acceptance were uh, from one to 10, we took them actually, the most one was efficient uh, lighting, uh, efficient uh, lighting by the faucet, aerators, and water uh, sector, smart meters. So they are above the uh, four, four uh, uh, in their. Uh, uh, if you compare the, the least accepted one, or the, in the medium level, you can say the shower, uh, shower timers, the electronic water timers, and the uh, pressure assisted uh, tanks uh, because the price is one factor the other one is the, they're uh, easy to apply it in the house or implement it are playing a major factor in accepting this so the 10 uh, accepted or more accepted uh, as i mentioned regarding the price regarding their uh, easy to implement in the houses uh, for the market visibility, mainly the customers are individual or enterprise. Individual contains uh, family, and the enterprise, uh, uh, the government or large large uh, organizations. Uh, for the competitor analysis, actually I didn't cover it here, but uh, mainly the competitors are even locally or regionally in the, the Gulf or internationally. But this type of business can be copied or can be. Uh, uh, facing the competition uh, in the future, if it is uh, implemented, so the the one who is managing this business ha have to bet the competitive uh, uh, competitive uh, advantage or price competitive to avoid uh, to uh, okay. and avoid uh, okay. uh, so the, are, the high competition of this. We we come to an end. Uh, because of this, we tested the hypothesis because we, it's almost, almost, you can see, these are the results you have in the paper. In conclusions, we could say that this study has looked into the awareness of the, and acceptance of such devices in Bahrain. The public Bahrainis are very aware of the governments and they are also willing to accept the devices that is basically will have a, a return on investment for them. Such business, of from this study, we understand such business is a very profitable, it's a very visible in the market, it will contribute to the national economy and job creations. However, the buyers, very interesting, they are accepting the idea and the willingness to buy from a local suppliers. And one of the reasons based on this study, because they're looking for continuous support and trust of sustainable companies. Government should, under, should, from this study, government should align or encourage the public to buy such devices by giving them some subsidiaries or what we call financial assessment, uh, financial gains. Doing that, we could say that the Bahraini public are very well educated and very aware of the government effort and the willingness to accept such technology. 
I will say that the knowledge that this research has contributed to the domain of knowledge, one, we done empirical study about the willingness of such devices and the awareness and willingness to buy, and the second, turning the need into an opportunity for creating money and business. Thank you, Shukran. Professor Shauke. Thank Shukran. you. Shukran. Shukran. Uh, thank you for the, all the speakers, and now we finish the session. Any question for uh, Prof. Hashmi? Your model is about, uh, you know, conservation of energy in Bahrain. Uh, the European, after the 1973-74 increase in oil prices, they have become very efficient when it comes to energy consumption. As a matter of fact, even if you look at the rate of growth of energy consumption in the world for the next coming 20 or 30 years, it's only the region of Europe that will remain the same. We simply mean that they have been able to develop an efficient system. And I don't know whether you have looked or studied that system at least to learn from it. And the other thing, you're talking about business in your model. But every time we think about business, we talk about profit. And a profit-driven kind of enterprises would not help these kind of energy consumption to conserve energy. So it seems that there are some contradiction in your model and what your model can contribute actually new to the at least solving the problems of energy consumption here. Yeah, Professor Amar, basically um, the I completely agree with you that in Europe the consumptions of, also there is an increase in the oil prices in, after 1973. Uh, basically, the European and the Western society has reached to that kind of, you know, level of uh, energy consumptions less per capita because there is a factors of an educational, an awareness, and also their needs. Now, when it comes to creating, Okay, uh, from our study is trying to see if the, is there is a business opportunity from such uh, electricity and water conservative energy. Because if you see now in Bahrain, if you go and drive by the airport, you will see that they are putting solar energy. If you go read about the mosque, they are putting solar energy. Matter of fact, there is a lot of people now. I sit with a young entrepreneur last week, and they were really surprisingly looking into the concept of how we can really take advantage of this opportunity by people is shifting their behavior, wants to reduce electricity, wants to less pay less, and create a business. Uh, as you are aware, maybe, you, when you look into the, how much the government is increasing, a lot of people in the household incomes, they basically pay more electricity, but in the industry and the private sector, they pay about three times. So when you are a businessman and you want to save money, what do you do? You find alternative. So that's the alternative. Purely capitalism, Doctor. Well, poor people have to learn how to adjust their life, and they can adjust it very well. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm poor. <laughs> okay, one more. It's okay. It should be the last one, please. Uh, thank you, Professor uh, Mukhtar, our master, for the clear and informative research uh, away from the business how we can link the concept of your research to the concept of individual social responsibility, not corporate social responsibility. Especially the world now is currently looking for not only smart cities, they are looking for healthy and green cities. Uh, see, at the end of the day, there is a behavior. When it comes to energy consumption, is a behavior. As you see in some of the slides we put because of time. In the paper, we discuss about the human behaviors, how they utilize electricity. There is an element where, from a social point of view, we as a parents, as educators, we need to educate our children how to do that. Frankly speaking, the government started to do that. We as a parents, we start to do that. 
But at the same time, when you want to reinforce changing of a behavior, you must bring an alternative to sustain that behavior. And our study is trying to tell you, I will encourage my child on changing his behavior, but at the same time, I'll bring a motion detectors for the light opening. I will, I will also purchase a timer, and I will also purchase a solar. In this case, you have the entire spectrums of the variables. So this is how I could see it. Thank you. Shukran ala comment, huh? I like it. Thank you, Dr. Mukhtar, and uh, thank you, Sayyid. Uh, I think uh, now we have to stop this session. At the end of this session, uh, we will distribute certificates. Is it? Uh... Yes, no. Okay. 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 And now we would like to invite uh, Professor Mansour Al Ali and Professor Alam to give certificates of appreciation to our keynote speakers. Professor Zahar Irani. Mr. Sayyid Diya. Thank you so much to our panel and our keynote speakers.